Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm back, Darush Zone channel, in this new video about uh, guess what? Batosera 5.22 Beta 3, the third version of Beta. I decided to follow this project until the end, which is will be the stable version and this is the third beta the roadmap of the group the Batocera group they managing to release another beta the beta 4 then the release candidate and then the stable release so there's a, a plan a solid plan to release this uh, new version of Batocera and for good because uh, as uh, you already know this version is very very it's huge release there's a, a lot of uh, new features than the, the old version is a, is a fantastic and i've been prepared for the test of the beta 3 um and some uh, stressing situation because uh, and this is just a placeholder but i i tried to add uh, most most system I can to to try to test the stress test of this beta and they declare this beta is already stable and uh, this it seems they they are right because uh, look uh, how it works is fantastic no white screen this is the Alex Fuel team Nintendo Nintendo gave a uh, gray screen but this gray screen is not uh, white screen the white screen is a memory crisis sort of the gray screen is a sort of the delay because uh, it have to load the this team uh, is a uh, very stressing because as uh, an artwork switch uh, fill all the frame big artworks good quality and uh, the this is the the, the game list the game list there's uh, some uh, some uh, art box there's some not because the, these are filler just a placeholder so don't don't mind uh, the the contents you see just uh, look for the performance and then i've added uh, even some video because uh, you know the Batocera 522 supports the video so is Akumaishu Dracula for the Sharp this is Spectrum Amiga 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 CD I've had some video let's see together prehistoric the the video are a huge plus of the Batocera I already said that but I'm repeat because I'm old Okay, this team has a good, uh, good artworks and video. They are big, so they're very spectacular. This is Amstrad. Let's talk about the difference uh, than the last beta, the beta 2 I've tried. First of all, they managed to fix the Amstrad JX4 thousand which is a new platform is the arcade the arcade and sorry the console version of the Amstrad CPC the emulator is the same but it needs something different configuration the, the set of the the JX GX is limited we talk about um, 20 games if I remember well it was not uh, 26 games okay it was not a, this was a flop of platform because an, an effort to to try to to hit to strike the console market and so the the gx works on its own is a totally standalone system even if i repeat it, it uses the same emulator which is the capris 32 
but it have a different settings than Amstrad CPC standard. So let's uh, see the Batman the movie. The advantage of uh, this game is uh, it's not required uh, even uh, if asked for for it. But as you know, you can skip this because these games. Uh, do not require the, actually the keyboard because the system was available only with the controller because it's a, a console approach okay it's just a quick quick look let's see another game i i guess batman and batman Robocop 2, let's see Robocop 2. Guys, I love Amstrad. If you know this game, as you see, do not require. Either, no, do not even ask for keyboard. And totally work with keyboard, but this game is hard, it's hard as hell. Another thing of this system you can jump you actually have two two buttons control just like the console let's see another game then we how the hell of Amstrad console I was waiting for that and this is the first <coughs> ah, I'm sorry this is the first front end which supports perfect JX Four thousand rescue all hostages. This system will be supported uh, even on recall box if uh, if my knowledge is right, but for the moment is not. Okay, okay, okay. Let's look another. To be honest, there is not uh, so difference uh, mm, apart this. Uh, Properly set um, strategies. The the feature is um, more or less the same because uh, maybe there there will be new things of the stable version, but I doubt I doubt that because the change log seems very clear. The 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 features and the, the new the new stuff is. Uh, is already huge. There's the the video snaps. Uh, there's the, um, the 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 overlays you can set directly from the menu. It's more similar to RetroPie than Recalbox, but still a Recalbox base. So it's uh, fast. It's um, simple to use. It's uh, plug and play. It's a uh, very viable for the casual player which is not so interested on the settings but you want to play okay and let's try the one of the my most preferred teams I like I like uh, I like two uh, it's called a fundamental and uh, you can download this team from uh, the repository it's a uh, clean uh, it's a simple uh, it's, uh, it supports uh, every platform, every system I've added. It's very good. This is in television. Mame. Let's see some video snaps. Nintendo. C Engine, Doom, PSP, PlayStation. Televiews, Cambiam, Sega. Super Nintendo. Graph back on this one. Shot, I can see. It. I've uh, there just uh, some uh, videos on this uh, build uh, I, I prepared for the test, so but just to show how it works. This is Amiga. Yes, this team is good, and uh, Amiga, uh, I already know, the, they 
updated to the last version of uh, Amiberry emulator which is the 225 if I'm not wrong but remember to add the properly kick rooms otherwise it will not work Atari Atari let's see the speed there's some seconds delay but nothing nothing serious every game has uh, the overlays set but from the, the system but you can select the the overlays you want from decoration options so you there is not need to enter to to enter into retroarch but the the, the bezels set by Batosera are very interesting because they are, are very vintage very old school very CRT type effect it also have the curved overlay you can see is curved to to mimic the the CRT type screen edges curved edges okay so this is the beta 3 of Batosera 522 is stable, is great. The things I don't like uh, at the moment are the same. Then there's only one thing, uh, well, two things you know I don't like so much. The first you sh you should know is the Commodore 64, which still uses the Vice emulator and not the Liberto version of Vice. I will not find. Here it is. It still uses the non Libertro version of Vice, and I don't like so much. The Libertro version is much better to me because it's very controller friendly and they too, every game works. Some people prefer the standard version. Also, question of taste is they are both a great emulator, but I still prefer the liberto version as is not uh, i think is not uh, is intentional recall box also uses the liberto version of uh, vice and not and not the standard version there does be a reason for that the second thing i don't like so much uh, it lacks uh, it lacks uh, still lacks the daphne the Daphne system, Daphne is good, uh, it runs well on both the RetroPie and the Recall Box. The Recall Box version of Daphne is fantastic. So um, I don't see so much uh, reasons to not add the Daphne emulator. Excluded those two things, I'm very super excited by this project. I will keep full of development and the uh, next beta. For now, you have a very, a very, we have a very fantastic, uh, promising uh, base. So, I've been said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we we'll catch up on the next one. Bye bye.